Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Destiny of an Emperor as part of 8 bit Obscurity. And uh, here we are in front of Nanyang Castle. Uh, you can see the cave that we were in last episode, uh, right on the bottom right hand corner there. And uh, we're about to face down Yuan Shu because there's nowhere else to go. Uh, this is the end of the road. So here we go. Prepare to die. That's all I had to say. So, let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, not that great of a warrior. He mostly is kind of lower than Don Juo was, I think. Hmm. Again, not too great. Uh, better intelligence, but again, not too great. So, uh, you also see this guy in my party. Um, funny thing happened. Uh, I was heading back to sell all my extra crap so I didn't have to do it on screen and take up all your time and uh, ran into him, managed to grab him. So, now he's in my party. Uh, he replaced uh, Liu Feng, who kind of makes my party more attack-oriented than spell-oriented, but that's okay. Zheng Zhan will actually not last too long in the fight. In, um, well, in my party, rather, so. Not too much of a loss there. So, Yuan Shu is uh, not lasting too long here. Relative. I'm not sure. Their surnames are the same. I'm not sure. I've never really looked at Yuan Shu's background too much. He was kind of the character you just love to hate. He was just kind of a douche. I'll just finish him off. You can hear him casting spells, but not too hurt yet. Drops. Blue fan follows. You are very strong, but when strength fails, running is a good strategy. Goodbye, Guan Yu. And, but Yuan Shu was surrounded by Zhang Fei. You dare defy me, I'm the Emperor, let me go. So, this kind of makes it look like it's one of those what thou must kind of things where you have to say yes. Let me show you. You want you was executed. His ambitions came to naught. So if you keep saying no, you will kill him. And that makes uh, later fights easier, because you want show can't show up when he's dead. I'll gain some levels. Learned a better fire tactic. And a bridge just opened. Uh, I'm gonna heal up. Yeah, just into the next area. Just to show you what happens. Remember Yuan Shao, the former leader of the Coalition Army? I'll kill you and redeem my brother's glory. Prepare to die. Guan Yu, I will serve Yuan Shao. So Lu Bu... Lu Bu betrays us. That is it for Lu Bu. We do not have him on it anymore. Go home, Liu Bei. You're obviously no threat to me. Alright, so we, we survived, but we lost a party member. No more Lu Bu. He has betrayed us. Much like he betrayed Dong Zhuo, much like he betrayed his uh, adopted father, as opposed to his... He adopted... Yeah. Just as he betrayed his original father. I have a very special key. 
yours for just 4,000 gold. Yeah, I actually do need that, so... Let me try to pick it up. And over here is a little secret thing, Trident. Which is much stronger than the spear. Brings my attack points all the way up to 100. And let me give the spear over to... Zhang Jun. No, I guess we'll survive in my party a little bit longer than expected, based on the loss of Lu Lu. And let's see if we can pull out another member. So now we need to replace Lu Bu. Lu Fang, you're back. Problem is, all my stuff is gone. And I don't know where it is. Oop, oh, there it is. It was on this guy. The only reason it's on that guy is because they transfer the stuff over to your seventh member. And if I don't have a seventh member, then somebody in the reserve has it. As long as I don't lose it. I don't want to have to rebuy everything. So let me equip everything again. I can sell that club. Change my formation. Okay. Let's uh, bring Lu Bei in. Save. Okay. Sell that club. Looking at it. Almost forgot who had it. Hand. In killing Yuan Chu, you have served me well, but you must be careful. Yeah, he did. No, he did. Alright, so weapons. By hoods. Everybody should wear hoods now. two options on what I can do now. I can go after Yuan Xiao and get my revenge for him punching me a little bit, or I could go down here to uh, Jing Zhou. Jing Zhou. Stop dying in senseless wars. Uh, Yuan Xiao's area is easier. I've tried doing Jingzhou first at one point, and I actually pulled it off, but it takes a lot of grinding, so we're going to follow the, the proper order of things, uh, at least at this point. We may leave Yuan Chao's um, main base alone and go into Jingzhou later, just to uh, 
pick up a few guys and then come back and just immediately punch Kyuan Chao's face off. Um, the fact that... Uh, the fact that Lu Bu has joined Yuan Chao is the reason. You won't save passage through the tunnel, surrender all of your belongings. Wait. <laughs> so, fake out there. He's actually pretty strong for a, uh, a regular old Joe. So, we're actually going to switch. We're gonna switch Lu Feng out again. He lasted for a good zero battles. Put my stuff. And then change my order once again. There we go. Okay. That's all I came in here for at this point. I will be coming in here later, but uh, right now we got what we wanted. Which is Joe Kang. Joe Kang in the story, uh, it was when uh, Guan Yu was traveling alone, trying to get back to Liu Bei's army. And uh, it, it's actually the story of how um, it's called. Uh, Guan Yu slays six generals and passes five gates. It's uh, the five gates uh, storyline. And uh, essentially what happened was Guan Yu was captured and joined Cao Cao for a time. Just on the premise of that, you know, to keep his uh, Liu Bei's wife safe. They got separated and uh, Guan Yu surrendered just so he could keep his, you know, his brother's wives okay. But eventually, you know, he did a few favors for, uh, for Cao Cao, and then, you know, went back to Liu Bei. But as he was going, he had to go through five gates, and each one of the generals was like, you know, I shouldn't be, I shouldn't let you go. You're joining the enemy. I shouldn't let you go. And they tried to fight uh, Guan Yu, and Guan Yu just wrecked them in uh, various different little stories. Uh, they tried different things. They tried, like, you know, fooling him, and it didn't work, and Guan Yu just kept fighting, and, like, Guan Yu's getting really tired, and he gets, like, past the five gates, and there's, like, a group of yellow turbans who still exist. Uh, yeah, and that is one thing I will mention. Um, they don't really do it in Dynasty Warriors, either. Uh, the yellow turbans last throughout the story in remnants or, uh, you know, just different forms. Like, you know, you'll see a bunch of peons jump out of nowhere and be like, we're yellow turbans, and then, you know, they didn't really do very well at all, because they were just peons and against trained soldiers, so they don't really, they're not important anymore, but they still popped up every once in a while. Like, slaying bandits was kind of the national pastime at this point. It's what you did when you weren't, you know, in a war situation. But, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of rebels showed up, a bunch of quote-unquote yellow turbans, and one of them's like, you know, I'll, I'll take the wives, and, you know, we'll have our way with them, and, you know, this other guy looks over and says, like, you know, pretty much, are, are you serious? And slays the leader, and, you know, prostates himself in front of Guan Yu and says, please let me join you, I'll do anything. And that was Zhou Kang. The guy we just got, and uh, Zhou Kang actually lasted pretty much almost to the end of the story. Uh, he acted as um, Guan he was always like with Guan Yu. He was always just kind of with him, either holding his weapon for him or holding his horse for him, and that was just his his job. Like he he loved doing it. And he was just happy where he was that he could you know, serve someone with honor as opposed to being a rebel. So, there you go. A fun little story. Right now he's the fourth in my party, so... And we conquered the first of many Yuan Shao's territories.
This place is kind of weird. This is Bohai Castle, which is the uh, castle that Yuan Shao is supposed to be from. We've been to the cave in the west, yes. Should meet Dan Fu. No. Whatever. So, this, this lady blocks us from the top. So we can't go up there. All we have access to is this inn, and the item shop, and that house over there. Essentially blocking our way from progressing in the game. For now. Now goes by the name of Dan Fu. Remember me, Shui Jing. Yeah, you were the guy I couldn't talk to. By the way, did you go to the cave yet? I was blocked by debris. Use this powder to clear a pass. I got some that powder. And that's where we have to go next. So, on the next episode, we will head into that cave and explode the gunpowder and talk to a guy, hopefully, and hopefully we can pass through this uh, this here town. So I hope you come back for that. My name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.